Yo, this is motherfucking Zen Dude Fitness. You about to be a witness. We're about to get on this jump rope. Yo, man, we're about to lose control. About to lose my mind going insane outside the membrane. You're rapping now? Well, dude, Can I was I gonna get, tell you. you well, I wanna be a rapper. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you really like this video, comment below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you want to hang out with these guys and learn how to look awesome and feel really good, you should check out our Jump Rope Masterclass, which is linked below. Let's get into this workout. All right, guys, to start things off, jump rope feet front to back. Now, remember, if you can't do the tricks, that's totally fine. You can just do regular bounce, but this is not that much of a big difference between regular bounce. You're just sliding your feet slightly forward and back while maintaining that jump rope form. Arms bend at 90 degree angles. Wrists are controlling everything like we always talk about. Good guys, remember you don't need more than 30 minutes to get an efficient fat burning workout in. If you're looking for a jump rope as well, we have one that we recommend and use all the time It's used in this video, and that's linked below. It's from crossrope.com. One of the best durable ropes on the market right now, and you know, all of their ropes are the same. The quality is very high, and we stand behind them. We only use dope products, yo, so get on that. Inchworm push-ups, guys. So you're just coming down, doing a push-up, inching back up. And you're not standing the full way up, but just inching back down and then doing them, you'll probably be able to get get about seven to eight um, in each uh, set. Jeez, can't talk about it. All right, guys, jump rope, feet side to side, feet side to side. Look how Brandon is maintaining that form. His elbows are in. His wrists, you know, very little movement. His feet aren't going that far out. They're going from center to about shoulder width apart. His wrists are controlling the entire thing. So he's bending his forearm slightly to get the rope around, but the rope is staying tight, and that's exactly what you want when you are correctly jumping rope. Up next, guys, star jumps. Get ready. Now, it's important to maintain proper squat form when you do these. So Brandon's coming down. He's still looking up. You see that? His back's still straight. He's still looking up, squatting the entire way down, and then exploding up. Notice how... When he lands, he's not landing stiff because you don't want to hurt your knees. You want to come back into the squat very slowly to kind of push in your break. Good guys, we're going to hit you with jump rope feet front to back again. This is a great agility uh, workout because it just showed, we just focus on splitting the feet forward and splitting the feet side to side. So again, I'm always harping on this, but, and this is a reason this rope actually makes this a lot easier. I really would recommend going and check out crossrope.com, the link that we have below, because as you can see, Brandon's very, he doesn't really have to move a whole lot with his wrists and he can spin that rope around at a pretty high speed without what looks like a whole lot of effort. All right, sumo squats. Next, guys, all you're doing is widening out your feet a little bit and pointing, pointing your toes slightly a little bit further out. There you go, Brennan. Then you typically would, but as you can see here, Brennan's just going for as many as he can possibly get in 20 seconds while, importantly, most of all, maintaining his form. So if you can see here, his back stays straight. That's great squat form by Brandon. Back stands straight. He's coming the whole way down to 90 degree angles before he goes up. And he's not coming up and locking his knees. They're staying bent. That's exactly what you want. Good guys, another, actually the last jump rope uh, exercise of the day, feet side to side. As you'll see again, this is great on Brandon's part, just maintaining that form. And look at his body, it's perfectly symmetrical. If you split him down the center, you would have literally a mirror of, of what's going on on both sides because he is spinning the rope exactly as he is supposed to. All right, last exercise, y'all. We got a wall sit. Don't cheat, okay? Like, go up against a wall and sit on the thing, full 90 degree angles. You know, you should be able to, like, walk someone underneath there, hands out in front of you, or hanging at your sides, but don't be touching the wall. Don't be touching the knees. Don't be, you know, touching that bag that just flowed by brain. Um, just focus on the exercise. Great job today, guys. We'll see you on the next workout.